Good evening YouTube, hope y'all are doing well out there. We are, <laughs> I am really pumped to be able to finally get everything done for that. And we have gotten the Titan 205 diff back from being re-geared. We're running 410 gearing now in the front and in the rear. And I am really pumped. But before we can go anywhere, I have to work on getting the R180 out of the front to be able to put that one in and I'm going to try to record that but I don't know how it will go um, I really hope that ain't a rear main alright come back with a quick update and I have gotten everything out other than upper control arm, lower control arm adder tie rod and we gotta drop the diff out after I get the lower control arm off and over here you got your identical look with everything now being take off mainly Upper control arm on the right, down and out. Moving on to the lower. All right, went ahead and got the new Titan arm in. Have to tighten it down, then it'll be done up top here. And to give you a little bit of comparatively to the Titan arm, there you can tell that they are quite a bit wider. old R180 out and now we've got the Titan 205 everything back ready to go oil in it ready to put back up in the truck
we've now got the tightening floor fives tightened up, ready to go. One thing I have to do now will be connecting up the breather tube to the disc. And then we can get the cracking on the little control arm, knuckles, and putting everything back together. Ready to drive again. little update again we've gotten everything put back together other than the outer tie rod for right there and uh, me being an idiot I forgot to order a new hub nut and the one from before won't bottom out now and uh, have to wait on that to get ordered but anyway you can tell that we are quite a bit wider now than what we were before tell that we are done with the new lift for anyone wondering about it and how I got the added track width you take a Titan M205 front disc up in there the upper and lower control arm from one and everything in between and throw it in there like you could tell from earlier in the video I do have to get it over and get the rear main taken care of we do have a bit of an oil leak and after that get in alignment the rear main get to the blind you can tell we're a little bit out of whack right now then get enough braking time for everything before i can take it off road and then i'm going to get the rear track width taken care of if you have made it all the way to the end I want to thank you and let y'all know that I'm trying to maintain the bi-weekly upload. But we <laughs> have had overtime hit pretty hard at work. And that can be good for money to keep <laughs> throwing at uh, my toy, but kind of bad for, you know, time to make content. But anyway, thank you all. Hope you have a good one.